What's up everyone? We have the latest flagship from Google. This is the Google Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 Pro is spotting a nice little bit of change in terms of the GPU it uses compared to other flagship phones out there and even Android gaming phones that we've seen this year, which we'll be going through in a bit. For now, all you have to know is that we will be putting it through our gaming gauntlet of Honkai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Mobile, which we'll be playing with this spiffy backbone controller, and of course, PUBG Mobile. Performance-wise, the Pixel 8 Pro is running the Google Tensor G3 chip. Its GPU, which is a refreshing change, is the Immortalis G15 MP10. We have 12 gigs of RAM and we've got 128 gigs of storage. The display is a 6.7 inch Super Actual LTPO OLED screen running at 120 Hz. So before we start the test, let's do a baseline of the temperatures with our trusty temperature gun. So starting from the front, 27. All right, of course, nothing too funky. 29, we're barely hitting 30 here. Okay, we just hit 30 over there at the bottom. Let's check the back. Okay, something from here. And over the camera module, still 28-ish, nothing hitting 30. And let's see. All oh, right, look at that, the bottom on there. Okay, just a little bit. But you know what, it's nothing funky. So we've got that settled and out of the way. Let's just play our first game, Honkai Star Rail. All right, so we're in Honkai Star Rail right now, and let's just check settings real quick. We're currently in the highest for everything. We're at 60 FPS, and everything's looking pretty good. And let's just check our characters real quick. Your part looks pretty good. And so far, it doesn't look like there'll be any huge FPS drops if we just quick swap to any other characters on here. So I think we're doing pretty okay. All right, very nice. A uh, little bit of hearing drop on there, just a little bit. But uh, let's bounce real quick. Okay, doing really okay. Wackies. If I'm not wrong. Nice. Okay, let's do an ulti real quick just to test it out. Let's see how the phone handles samples ulti. And also we are speeding things up. Okay. Let's go. Visual cascade. Let's whack him. Other thing is that the speakers are located at the side here. So, you know, if you, I recommend using headphones or earbuds for this phone, like many others out there in the market. Nice. Let's get shields. All right, doing a bit better now. All right, let's whack them. All right, wackies. A little bit of film. It drops over here. Like, look at that. It's it's kind of going up quite a bit right now. It used to be at sixty, but now it's kind of barely keeping it at fifty. All right. Look at that. It's going down quite a bit. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I didn't realize we beat both of them at the same time. Okay. Sick. And with that, let's check temperatures real quick. All right, 35.9, 35.6. Honestly, it's not that warm on the front, or at least I didn't notice it that much. 38.3, 39. Hitting the 40 regions, I believe. Oh, it barely hits 40. Okay. 38.6, 37.2, 40 ish around here. Remember, there's no cover here, so it's just the phone on its own. 41.3 on the camera modules. Camera mode's about 37. And the top here, looking at about 35.4. So honestly, not too bad. We are also currently at 88%. We were down, we started off at 93%. So we're down to 88. That's 93, 92, 91, 20, 20, 93, 92, 91, 20, 89, 88. That's 6%. 6% in about, I don't, 6% in about 15 minutes. So it's doing, Pretty well so far. So with that, let's move on to our next game, Genshin Impact. Okay, so currently we are at 85% battery. Let's check temperatures before we hop into Genshin Impact. And let's see, 34, 35. Yeah, it's cooled down a little bit. I had to stop for a bit to let our camera cool down. So that's why the battery is different. But other than that, we've given the, the phone a little chance to breathe which we don't usually do though. At here, 
36, 37, 36. All right, here's here's pretty all right. All right, now we're in Genshin Impact. Let's just check settings real quick. But, oh, okay. So currently we have set everything to the highest over here, 60 FPS. And yeah, things are looking pretty good. As I'm just turning the camera around, there is, it doesn't hold up to 60 FPS. No, it does not. That look looks great. Let's go to Erica. All right, a little bit of a frame drop there. Oh, okay, that's quite that's quite a bit frame rate drop. All right, now look. The toggle. And let's get back to Kazuo. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a frame rate drop when changing characters, but other than that, I think we're fine. Let's just run through in Azuma and see how this phone performs. Okay. Yeah, we're running at 20 FPS right now. It's not holding up pretty well. It's not, oh, oh my lord, okay. But again, again, Genshin and Honkai are pretty damn demanding of these phones. So, yeah, as you can see, we're not doing, we're not doing so hot right now. All right. But maybe after an update or two, I, oof, oh my lord, okay. Oh boy. All right, ulti. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Not so cash money. Not very cash money. No way. And let's just uh, get another ulti going. Okay, so when we stack ulties, it doesn't look too good. Oh, okay. Beautiful stuff. Again. The phone can't really handle everything at 60 FPS, so just keep that in mind. Let's get this on. Wrong direction, but it's okay. We're taking them all down. Come on, Dalek. Let's go. Just a bit more. Alright, that's it. Okay, so with that, let's just check temperatures right now. We are at 79%. And temperatures looking pretty good. I mean, honestly, besides the performance that we've been seeing, I would expect a bit more. But other than that, we're doing pretty all right with temperatures. All right, let's check the back real quick. And currently we're at 34%, 33. It's actually doing not too bad. I, I'd say it is a pretty all right trade-off that you're not burning your fingers off with this thing. But still, the performance does need a little bit of a check. So just keep that in mind. It may be that the phone isn't out yet. That's why the optimization isn't that great. But also it could be the hardware. But you know, let me know what you think. Leave that in the comment section below. All right. And with that, let's get to our next game. Call of Duty Mobile, which we'll be playing with the Backbone. This channel is supported by brands who help us improve our content and keep us going, so stay around for this sponsored message. Here at Geek Culture, we've tested plenty of chairs, but Secret Life Gaming chairs remain one of our favourites. Whether it's for work or play, they feel great to lean back against, with their ergonomic features offering support for the whole body, from the head and back to the arms, and even something for your butt. This mix of form and function helps the Titan EVO 2022 deliver the best seating experience like no other. For more information, check out secretlab.co. All right, so we are hot off Genshin Impact. We're currently at 70%. And let's just check temperatures real quick. All right, so far we're at 32 here. Wow, it's, it, it has cooled down quite a bit. All right, 34, 33, 34 again. And yeah, it's it's doing all right. And let's check the back. It does dissipate heat pretty efficiently, if I'd say so. And let's check the camera modules. Not too bad. 33, 34, 35, 34. Yeah, nothing wrong. Okay, it, it has gone down quite a bit from what we last saw with Genshin Impact. So with that, let's just hook up the backbone. We're also coming at 77% right now. We have this all locked and loaded. Put the graphics real quick and set everything to max. So I can only go high and max so that thing does not agree with each other. So keep that in mind. Uh, BR, that's fine. All right. Everything is turned on for BR and I think we should be good to go. Can we sprint? Oh, okay. Everything is set. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome all I have to say is that I'm going to have a good time with this thing. Because it really brings me the 
proper Call of Duty experience with the controller. All right, let's get into it. All right, there are framing drops in there. Again, max graphics, max FPS. And I'm alone. Oh, let's not go to Oracle. Let's go uh, farm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go to farm. Doing pretty good so far. A little bit, okay, a little bit of free drops in there. But, okay. We're, not, we're doing okay so far. Let's just go first person just so we can get the proper experience. So the thing about the backbone is that once you put your phone in it, it kind of automatically, I mean, with, with some adjustments here and there, you will automatically assign all of these functions to the buttons here. So currently the volume's at the highest, I believe. Oh, okay, you're getting shot at. Reds, oh, I see you. Come on. There you go. I'm compensating a bit too much right now. But yes, finally some combat. Okay, we're both equally terrible. Okay, that's one down. Finally, but uh, okay, running at a nice 60. So do okay, oh. Airdrop in. There's someone on me, what the hell? Oh, there you are. He's probably inside here. Oh, there you are. Okay. This one down. Oh. Okay, quick scoping time. Oh. Come on. It's not really a quick scope, but you know what? That works out. Uh, so one thing I noticed at the bottom of the controller, you can actually attach a 3.5mm jack here and a USB-C wire here for charging your phone while you game. So that's pretty neat. And so far, nothing much has been going on. I've been pretty much on my own. I still have like 26 guys left to kill. If I can find anyone else to kill, but performance has been doing pretty great so far. Oh, someone's on here. There we go. Oh, right. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I kind of wasted a lot of time right there. But you know what? Never mind. Where's this guy? Very nice. Okay. Getting close to victory. Oh, one more guy. There you are. Okay, so that's it. All right, so let's, uh, let's move this one to the control real quick. The backbone. All right. And here we go. 33%, oh, 33 degrees also, sorry. The game hardly beat a dent in the phone. So performance again is concerning, as much as I'll say. The back, 35, 34. It's doing all right on the thermal front, but again, performance isn't looking that amazing on this thing. And we're at 70% right now. So, hmm. With that, let's get to our final game, PUBG Mobile. So before we get into PUBG Mobile, let's check temperatures real quick. We're currently at 69%, nice. And let's check temperatures. All right, 28.6. All right, things has cooled down quite a bit. I mean, given also we are in a room temperature, slightly below room temperature ish environment, because you know, there's an aircon here. And let's check this out 29, 29.3. All right, very cool, very cool indeed. Okay, so with that, PUBG Mobile, let's check our settings. Settings wise, because you guys asked for it, I will deliver. We're in smooth for graphics and extreme for frame rate. Everything else, four times anti aliasing. And we're gonna press OK for that. And you know what, with that, we're gonna restart the game and then 
play a match. And are we going to jump off? Okay, we're jumping off right now. So as you can see, I'm not going to be controlling anything obviously because I'm following the Jump Master, but it's running pretty smooth so far. Pretty steady 60 FPS. So interesting to see that. I'm just check the graphics real quick. I don't think there's a 90 on this. Yeah, there isn't. It's just extreme. So let's just get into it. And hopefully we'll touch down soon enough. Hopefully, I'm going to be unfolding this guy. It's going to go hit straight down, all the way down, and then get weapons, and then we'll start, hopefully, gunfights. Okay, we're almost there. I'm going to be taking up the... I'm not even going to try guessing whether that's east or west, so... Okie dokies. Very nice. Uh, bit of drops in there, but we're doing A-OK. -okay. I think... Nothing too concerning just yet. And it's dark again for some reason. Why does it keep doing that? Oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting shot at. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Oh, okay. Not used controls yet, but um, at least he's down. Okay, there's one guy down. There's another guy here. Very nice. This one's caught down. I mean, honestly, we're not playing PUBG on like very demanding graphics. And honestly, it's just playing at 60 FPS. So, all in all, it's doing pretty well for what it's worth. Okay, let's just uh, heal up. Oh, okay, I see him. It's beyond that ritual there. There we go. One more guy over there. Okay, that's two guys down. Very nice. Okay, nice. That's another squad down. Alright, this one guy down. Oh, damn, okay. Well, okay, that, that kind of ends things for me. All right, never mind. It's all good because I think we got what we needed and we are currently at 62%. So with that, let's check temperatures real quick. 33. I mean, it was a bad play, but you know, 34.9, 35, 34.8. All right, let's check the back. You know, it's, it's PUBG, it's doing pretty all right. Honestly, the main concern is mostly with Genshin and Honkai, but other than that, I think we're doing pretty good for this phone. So with this, let's just get into our final thoughts. The Google Pixel 8 Pro, as you've seen from the footage, is gonna give Google quite a bit to reflect on post-launch. Whether I can chalk it up to the game's optimization for Genshin and Honkai is one thing, but at least performance isn't super abysmal, just very lackluster. I will give it credit for its thermal performance and for how efficiently heat is reduced throughout both games though. For Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG Mobile, it ran both games without a hitch. Battery performance after playing 4 games for about 2 hours, going from 95% to, well, 59% is pretty alright. Not super amazing, but impressive nonetheless. Google still has a way to go when it comes to perfecting their Pixel phones, but they're on the right track so far and I hope they stay steady on that path. And also, I must say, the backbone has been quite the addition to the gaming videos. I expect to see more of this for future videos. So, would you be getting the Pixel 8 Pro? Let me know in the comment section below. Leave your questions there too if you have any, and we'll do our best to get to them. If you like what we do, make sure to follow us on all our socials right here. And maybe leave a like and subscribe to us. It goes a long way. If you want to see more stuff, check this out.